what purpose does that degree serve for you? Right. Let's leave it as rhetorical for now, and we can <laughs> deal with it later in the questions. But right, is, is it does it represent something like I think Stephanie Krauss yesterday mentioned? Does it represent social capital of a certain type, right? But does it represent anything else? Uh, so that leads me to my next question. What, what, what is important about that requirement of a degree? Is it the knowledge it represents? Is it experience? Or is it the degree itself? And which of those is, is really the most important for you? Um, uh, somebody answered this yes to me yesterday when I asked, but could you, instead of that, just administer an assessment of skills and knowledge at your institution uh, as part of the hiring process? You know, and, and have that be your basis for hiring? Or, does that degree still still matter, right? So this is all, this is not just me soliloquizing. This is where we're going to get to something here. Um, um, I, I guess another question then, let's, let's shift away from that for a minute. How many of you would consider yourselves to have been non-traditional learners, people who didn't go through the four-year traditional, or, or five, or in my case, 11, you know, uh, <laughs> years of getting a bachelor's degree? So only one, two people, three, all right, sort of, maybe a little bit, all right. Um, would a, uh, so with, with maybe the three of you, I'm asking more, more than anyone else, but would you say that there should have been a better way of acknowledging what you knew um, besides a degree? I mean, were you able to do more things than your degree represented? No, right? This is pretty much what it, no? no. Well, just non-traditional. Did you take a traditional route to getting your education? No, but education? I still, I went when I was older. I was full time mm -hmm. when I was older. I mean, you're older. Okay. Sat in classrooms. And so, I mean, yeah, so that's... It, the, the modality was traditional. My place there was not traditional. Uh -huh. Now, I didn't take any online courses. Or, you know, I was 30 at that time. I didn't take online. And, you know, I went right to Temple and sat in classes. Temple University, not the, the Jewish. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which would be fine, I'm not saying. Yeah, university, right. Yeah. Um, so that's what I did, you know, by non-traditional. But um, I had a big career in travel. I did in premises. But I didn't expect yeah. them to uh, temple to, to take credits. I didn't even know about right. that and, and think about that at all. Maybe because I just didn't know back then. Hmm. I was 30, that was 20. So you sort of had to force your education into that more traditional mold, even though you were, you know, sort of yeah. into your career already. Yeah. Okay. That's good, that's good. All right, we'll get back to you in a minute. Just hang on, no, it's fine. Um, all right, so that, that helps us to really get a sense of, 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 of who folks are. So by and large, with a few notable exceptions, we're, we're somewhat traditional and we hire in traditional ways, and yet we're here at a summit talking about how we can work around that system 